Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I've had a, a few recent requests to do another fireside chat type review, and so the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Here we are today. I'm here actually today to review something a little bit different, and that is a, a set of stereo Bluetooth speakers um, that are sold under the brand name August. These are the MS515s, and I'm going to highlight kind of a different approach um, with these speakers today. And depending on your needs, they might actually work a little bit better for you than something like this Sony XRS X5 uh, speaker that I've been using for a while that I, I quite like in a lot of ways. But uh, let's highlight some of the differences between this kind of traditional one speaker approach compared to the uh, smaller stereo Bluetooth speakers approach. And so the August MS515, obviously this is a different kind of approach. And so um, instead of just having a single speaker, you instead have a speaker or two speakers that will provide some stereo separation. Now that comes with uh, perhaps some pros and some cons. Overall, the dimensions of these, as you can see, are nicely compact. They're um, under six inches long and, and uh, right around three inches in their of course, they're a triangle shape, so about three inches on each side of the, the triangle itself. They actually have a nice soft touch kind of finish, and so in person, they're actually a more pleasing to look at, a little more stylish than perhaps what the pictures suggest, and they have that nice tactile feel. One downside, however, of this soft touch finish is that I feel I see that they, that they pick up oils uh, quite easily. This finish does. Um, so when you're handling them, if you're someone like me who is bothered by those things, you'll be wiping them off quite frequently as a result of that. The left speaker is kind of the primary speaker. And uh, just to answer a few questions as to how these operate, how they work, that this is the primary syncing speaker. And so when you uh, power that on, um, you will hear first its beginning tone, startup tone, and uh, then that is followed by a double tone in which the, the speaker has synced with the audio source. And usually that syncing happens quite quickly. In fact, the overall Bluetooth operation of uh, the, the speaker is quite good. I find that the range is very good, perhaps even better than my Sony and certainly better than some of the other Bluetooth devices I have, such as Bluetooth headphones or earbuds. And so the range I find is better um, with these in terms of what it picks up. On the back of the actual speaker itself, on the left one, you'll find uh, across the back you're going to see a total of five different things. So from left to right, far left, there is a charge port. And let me just say on that note that uh, nicely the charge port is a very, very standard these days micro USB, which um, works for a wide host of devices. So there's a good chance that you'll probably have a cord or two around, and so that makes charging a little bit easier. While there is a charge cord included, and we'll get to that in just a second, there isn't any kind of, of actual um, AC adapter included. And so you can use any kind of AC adapter you have, or if you have USB type ports um, on a power device, a power bar, or a power outlet. Or of course, if you have none of those things, you're going to be stuck using something like a laptop or purchasing a very, very cheap um, AC adapter for that. Now, both of these speakers charge independently. That is one of the nature of having two speakers. And so they both have internal batteries. And so one nice thing about that is that the included charge cord, um, it has a standard size USB on one end, but it then splits into two of the micro USB dongles beyond that. And so it means that you can actually charge these simultaneously. So that's a nice touch. And the battery life is actually excellent, better than any other Bluetooth speaker that I've used in the past. It actually has a battery life of 15 hours and beyond. And so you'll find that you don't have to charge them all that often under normal use. My Sony, for example, uh, it lasts for about 10 hours and sometimes a little bit less than this. These often will exceed their rated battery life. And so a battery life is good. Now, the second thing you're going to find is a red port here. And, and it's shown red to differentiate from the other similar size port that is next to it, um, which is a, you know, kind of a standard headphone jack type size dimensions. But the difference being is that both of these um, unfortunately, only one of them actually receives the Bluetooth signal, and that is the left or the primary uh, command unit. But the right unit has to be connected through the use of the included uh, cords that will actually send an audio signal to the other side. And so, unfortunately, while these are wireless speakers, they're not 
exclusively wireless. And so that's, that was kind of one disappointment for me. Now, one thing that is positive is that the, um, there are two cords that are included in the box, one of which is uh, right around three feet-ish, uh, around a meter, a meter overall. And then if you need a, a wider distance, we have a, a three meter or around a 10 feet cord that is also included. And obviously my arms aren't long enough to stretch that fully out. But uh, fortunately you do have an included cable that will work for most of your circumstances or situations with that. And so uh, then the third port on there is an actual, and I'm glad it has this, is the standard audio input if you're going to use a just kind of a patch in from a non Bluetooth enabled device. And so you can connect any kind of audio source to this. And so you have just kind of a standard patch cord that's included that will allow you to have a direct signal. And then you can plug that right into like a headphone output jack of a non Bluetooth device. And so I'm always glad to see that because not every, make, it just means it's compatible with more of your devices. Next to that is a, a wheel that will rotate back and forth, uh, kind of a, a toggle and that will allow you to, um, if you press it in, will allow you to pause or to play your audio source. And then if you uh, kind of dangle it back or forth, it will advance or reverse in tracks. And that could be handy if you're actually closer to the speaker than what you are to your audio device. Chances are in most settings, you won't be using that necessarily all that often. Then the final thing to the far right is the power on and off. The uh, second speaker has only the uh, charging port, the audio input port that comes from this other speaker, and then of course its own on and off switch. Now, one advantage to having this kind of dual speaker device is that if you want to really travel light and you want to pack along some extra audio power, but you don't want to take the full setup, you can always just travel with the left primary speaker and it will give you good sound, but, um, but in a very compact size, obviously. But it's when these speakers are really at their fullest advantage is when they are used in stereo. When it comes to matching the absolute volume um, or the bass response, they can't match this Sony unit that I have, which is similar to, uh, you know, like a Bose sound dock in terms of its overall um, sound. And, and so it has, this can put out more volume. It's, it's 30 watts worth of power. It's got a, a little subwoofer in there. Um, while these are smaller and they're each rated at five watts. And so um, in terms of the absolute power or absolute sound, this can't match it, nor can they even with both of them. But it's amazing how much more that stereo separation, if you're using some kind of source to where you can set it up to where you're getting feedback from both, it's amazing how much that music comes alive and becomes more immersive. Or if you're uh, watching some kind of video content, how much more immersive that is. And so it's quite incredible the difference that is made when using this. And of course, these are going to blow away the, the standard audio source in something like your tablet or your laptop or your phone. And downright massive in every facet compared to this. But uh, when it comes to the actual performance of this lens, this is a shockingly good performer at those wide apertures. And so today we're going to jump in and just take a look at a number of things about that. So uh, number one, of course, this is made for wireless bodies. And so it comes in a Canon EFM mount, which I am reviewing here on a Canon M3 body. And I don't find that the bass response can match the larger Sony overall. Um, but I do find that these uh, are, are able to go to the very limits of their volume level without any kind of, of visible distortion. And uh, the, the highs and the mids are, are clear and crisp. They sound good. And, and the low end is okay, if not exceptional. But for most kinds of situations, even for uh, even a movie type soundtrack, it's amazing how immersive that these are. And so there are, of course, pros and cons to each one of these approaches. And so I just wanted to uh, detail both of those things. Now, the one other thing that I, I kind of want to lay out for you is, is what I feel these speakers are for. Now, obviously, both of these kind of devices are coming at it quite an extreme different price point. Um, the, the Sony unit here is, is cost typically um, around $200 at full pop and, you know, more like $150 one on sale. These on Amazon are $54.99 at their regular price. And so obviously they're, they're at, at the least, they're, they're about a third of the price of the larger Sony. So I consider them to be a pretty strong value in that way. But let me put it this way. If you just want a portable speaker that you can throw into the corner of a room um, for uh, you know, a party or a get together, or you know, even if you're traveling, 
this uh, was going to put out more of an absolute sound. And if you're moving around, of course, the, the stereo advantage of these speakers is somewhat lost because, you know, the stereo separation is more if you're in a fixed position. And so if you're looking for something to just throw in a corner, you can, you can use these in that way, of course, but they're not going to be, you're not going to be maximizing their effectiveness. But if your typical use is more, you're spending time listening to music, perhaps while you're studying, or if you're watching a movie or YouTube, some kind of video content, and you're looking for improvement sound and stereo separation, these smaller, less expensive speakers can actually provide a much more immersive experience than what this larger unit can. And so if you're set up with a, a tablet or device and you have these set up like this, it's amazing how immersive that that setting becomes. And so um, you'll find these to be, I think, a fairly good bang for the buck. And if that happens to suit your purposes, your typical usage, then I think you should take a look at these August MS-515s because they are certainly very interesting speakers. Um, I'll throw a link down below to Amazon so you can take a look a little bit further. I'm Dustin Abbott. Thanks for watching today. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Have a great day.